We're being joined by Dr. Sandro Golea, who is the Dean of the Boston University School of Public Health. Can you tell me a little bit about why science-based public health practice is so important? I think science is what distinguishes us. Public health practice ultimately is about creating the healthiest world we can possibly create. And science is what tells us how we do that. I think science combined with advocacy can make the data-driven case and the moral case for the kind of world we want to build to create a healthier world. And you're going to be delivering the opening ceremony okay. speech. What do you hope people are going to take away from that speech? I'm hoping that people take away from that a couple of things. Number one is the world is a better place than it was for throughout its history. Number two, that we can do so much better. Number three is how do we do better? I think we do better in three ways. I think first, we need to make the case for health. And we need to make the case through making the science and through the moral argument for health. Number two, we need to demand health. We need to vote for health. Vote for people in public office who understand this case and vote with our pocketbooks. Support industry that promotes health. And number three, I think we need to tell the story of health. We need to tell the story of what creates the health of the public. And APHA has a challenge in creating the healthiest nation in one generation. What are the steps to achieve that? I think we can get there. I think we can get there if we can understand collectively that we need to create a healthier world, that we need to create parks and opportunity for recreation, that we need to create food that is nutritious and available for all, that we need to have gender equity, that we need to have sustainable housing, that we need opportunities for stable employment. Those are the pillars that we need to create. And if we did that, we can be the healthiest country in the world in one generation. And what role does science-based public health play in prevention of violence, and how do we get there? Violence is one of those problems that is really a sort of a devil's problem. We've had it for a long time, and if you look at, for example, rates of homicide in this country, they haven't budged for almost a century. This is where public health comes in. Public health should be tackling these difficult problems. And in order for us to tackle issues like violence, we need the data. We need the data to make a science-based case, and we need to make a moral argument against violence. Together, if we put those two together, we can actually make a dent in issues that have troubled us for a long time, like violence. Dr. Galea, thank you so much for joining us with this very valuable information. Thank you for having me.